Hey, what is up guys? I am Ascari Husky here today, and today we have the wonderful Caffeine Fox. Guys, we are at Indie FurCon 2018. Yeah. We did the YouTube panel today. It's day one. We had a ton of fun doing that. Uh, real quick shout out to everyone who was there. Thank you for showing up. I think we hit like 60, almost 70 people. So that's a lot of people yeah. for day one at like four o'clock. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for showing up. But guys, this is the Fursuit Interview Series. Thank you per usual for watching. This is interview probably 30 odd on the channel. We have done all sorts of interviews from Majira to Nas and everybody in between, including Dojo, Ragehound, and so many more. And this con is no exception. We will be filming more as with future cons. Guys, like I said, we have the wonderful Caffeine Foxes here. Hi. Or Caffeine Fox. And if you guys don't know who he is, there will be a link to his social media below. Go check him out real quick before watching this video. Maybe go binge watch some of his and be sure to sub him, guys. But Caffeine, I just want to say thank you for letting me interview you. Oh my goodness, thank you for having me on here. This is super exciting. I've never been interviewed before. <laughs> So, you know how the interviews work. Yeah. Yeah. So, for those of you who don't know how the interviews work, guys, I go to social media, Twitter, and ask you guys to ask said interviewee questions. And you guys always provide along with some of my questions in there as well. So, that being said, Caffeine, before we even get into this interview, we are at Indie FurCon. How do you like the con so far? I love this con. Personally, this con is at just the right size. So if you go to MFF or some of the larger ones, you might not run into anybody that you want to meet. Yeah. And if you go to the smaller ones, you're like, well, I did all of it already. This is like just the right size. Indy Furcon, I love it. Oh my goodness. It's a it's a pretty it's like a pretty decent size. It's it's sizable. It is sizable. But it's not too big and it's not small. It's yeah. that happy medium one thousand to three thousand point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's the two ninety nine special at Burger King. <laughs> Fills you up, but doesn't leave you satisfied. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you, then you feel sad at the end after you finish it. Right? But guys, as usual, like I said, questions from Twitter. You guys provided a ton of questions. So, Caffeine. Yeah. Are you ready to answer these questions? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, the very first question we have is by Indie Fur Coyote, and that is, what is your video making process? So, when it comes to making videos, uh, I, I want to say that it's a really complicated process. Most of the time, I'll usually have a crazy idea that pops into my head, um, and then I'll just shoot it and make a bunch of mistakes. And then I save all those mistakes for the blooper footage at the end of it, but I'm usually able to get enough usable footage out of it. So after I'm done filming it, I pop it into my computer, use Adobe Elements, Unfortunately, I do not have Premiere Pro. Ah. I'm so sorry. No. That's it's so good. nice though. It's good for making wedding videos and like your high school graduation, but not for YouTube videos. Yeah, and then I upload it. And I usually do about one a week because it takes a solid 12 hours usually to edit. Yeah. Yeah, I have no life. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's also creating intros because every video has to have an intro <laughs> and I have to think of something funny, whether it's, I don't have them with me right now, but Colonel Clucker is my chicken. Uh, it's usually really angry, and I like to put Colonel Tucker's in angry situations and other stuff. I think he had a wand, and he said Accio Bum, and I flew backwards. That was the, angry <laughs> one of them. the next question we have is by Gay Mooncat, and that is, who's someone you look up to, furry or non-furry? Uh, let's see. The person I would say I look up to the most would actually be furry. Uh, I would say it's Picari Ru. I would uh, have to agree. Yeah. That's honestly, she's like the, uh, besides Fox telling me do it, she's like the main inspiration for the channel. Wow. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. And we're both drink themed. Yeah. The three of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mountain Dew theme, Red Bull, and Picari Sweat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, um, this, when I first discovered the fandom, I was like, wow, this is crazy. I didn't think, you know, furries could be something that's. Uh, this is gonna sound bad, but not cringy, you know? Cause like, I was one of those horrible trolls on 4chan. I'm like, I'm never gonna do that. That's not me. And then it wasn't until I moved to a new base 
in a military base and I was like, man, I don't have any friends on this base. Let me go look at YouTube videos. And I found the fandom and I'm like, awesome. And Bakari's channel was one of the first ones I saw. So when I found the fandom, Bakari wasn't doing YouTube yet. Oh. However, when I got back into the fandom, because there was like a year gap where I wasn't really a part of it, I was just kind of like, I wasn't a part of anything. I was like just chilling at home every day, right? Oh yeah. And when I got back into it, I was just like, screw it. Let's go to YouTube, watch some furry YouTube videos. I literally just went to YouTube and typed down like, forgot what I typed, but it was like something furry. And her video, and it was like the furry do's and don't video. It was like, a day old. I was like, ah, so sure, we'll watch this. And I was like, wow, I really like her videos. And I was like, okay, we'll watch another. Yeah, we'll watch another. We'll watch another. Oh I was like, and before, and before I knew it, I watched all her videos. I was like, <laughs> no! I was just now like, ah! I was like, now I gotta wait for her to upload. Just like Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> but free. But uh, that was like that when I got back into it. Because like before, when I was in the fandom a long time ago, I don't watch anything. I was just here, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I was like here for the art. Now I'm here for the YouTube. For, for, yeah. Now I'm here for the YouTube, the photography, and everything else in between. Photography. So, photography, indeed. But no, I would agree with you. Picari is like one of like the people I definitely look up to. My my YouTube browsing actually started off at like videos about spiders, and then like as the night went on, it kept suggesting videos, and I ended up there. <laughs> wow, okay. It's, it's like one of those things. It's like you fall asleep on the couch and then you wake up and you're like, how did this happen? <laughs> then you get, then, yeah, then you get into the weird part of the neighborhood. Yeah, right? So, at Tomingo ask, what's your favorite drink besides Red Bull? Ooh, that's a difficult one. If I had to pick a drink that's my favorite besides Red Bull, I'd have to say probably pina coladas. Oh, non-alcoholic, of course. Unless you're old enough to drink, then go for it. But <laughs> Yeah, I didn't say that. I don't know. My favorite drink would be probably like... Like milk. Milk? Milk. I drink a gallon a day. Oh my. <laughs> like, in a, what's the time frame though, like in the day? Is it like, like an hour? No, like the entire day. Just okay. the entire day. Okay. Not like all in one sitting, like, let's go! <laughs> milk no, it's challenge. like through the entire, like, people at my job kind of give me a hard time. Like, do you really bring a quart of milk with you for lunch? <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah. You're gonna turn into like Link from Zelda, where he drinks milk to get his hearts back. <laughs> like, ooh, Ascari's injured. <laughs> You just drink. Just drink a quart of milk. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Yeah. Nah, but that 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 would probably be my favorite drink. I'd say so. Yeah. Now if we mix the drinks, pina colada and milk, what do we get? Probably something terrible. <laughs> I know. You should try it probably. sometime. Oh god, that sounds like one of those <laughs> drinks you need to make while you're like next to a toilet, just in case. Like, nope, this isn't gonna love me. <laughs> like, honestly. Or you can make like what is it like a White Russian, right? That, yeah. That's a White Russian. Yeah, that it's is. like milk, vodka, and something else. <laughs> So, next video idea for Ascari's channel. How to make a white Russian. Yeah. <laughs> Sad part is that's two of the things I really like together. <laughs> Pyro Wolf asks, if you could go back in time and witness one performance concert, what would it be and why? If I could witness one performance or concert back in time, it would have to be in Woodstock. Yes! In the 60s. Yes! Jimi Hendrix. Oh, yes. Yes. Just the energy during that time period. People were the so rock, fed up. Man. They just wanted to it release. Was, it was a, the rock from that era. Yes. That's so good. It was the original furry con. Everybody went there and had an awesome time. And then when it ended, they all had massive PCD. <laughs> Or, uh, no, I would say The Doors. Yes, The Doors. Cousin Morrison, you know he's been, you, you, dude, the guy got arrested on stage one time. Oh my goodness. Like, dude. It's just like Logan Paul. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I say that? The Stormy the Fulf asks, where did the whole oh my goodness thing come from? That is a very good question, Stormy. Thank you for asking that. <laughs> <laughs> If I had to say where that phrase came from, it was when I was live streaming and I really wanted to swear. Like, you don't even know how bad I wanted to ah! swear. But I was like, you know, Jiminy Cricket, I gotta say something that's safe for everybody. So I said, oh my goodness. And ever since then, people have been keeping tally in my live streams, how many times I say it. And I've even done a challenge. That's how true. many times I'm gonna do, do I'm gonna do that as a drinking video. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I will die. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Back in my original videos, people used to, in the comments, count how many times I said, uh, or like. Cause like I said, I don't have, I, I never had any editing. So 
everyone would count every time I said uh or like, and in the course of 10 minutes, I said it close to 300 times. <laughs> I was just like, wow. Uh. <laughs> I'm just like, that's not good. <laughs> so at Proto Plays oh whoa, oh yeah, oh whoa, oh whoa, says, what made you so cute? Well, you see, it's a really complicated process of waking up every morning, drinking my blended green smoothies, and doing power jogs around the neighborhood, uh, and doing yoga. That, that, I think that contributes to it, too. I'm not cute, though. I'm ferocious. I have two sharp teeth right here. I don't know if the camera can take it. 4K, two sharp teeth, and there's probably human teeth that got picked up in that, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, Turan the Fulf says, how long have you been in this fandom? Uh, I have been in, I just did it, I said, uh. Uh, uh, yeah. uh I have been in the fandom <laughs> for approximately three years now. Okay. Um, so I got to the base that I'm at about roughly three years ago. And I was having a really rough time. And I wanted to do something with my life where, you know, it was this crazy, it's it kind of like a crazy eccentric hobby you could really get into and be like, yeah, that's what I do. I do that on the weekends. I'm an animal. And then people were like, wow, that's weird. Yeah, <laughs> and it made it even better. It was, I was like a rebellious teenager, even though I was definitely not a teenager. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but ever since then, it's just been kind of like a life-changing experience. Uh, I don't know where I'd be right now if I didn't discover the fandom. I'd probably be really sad. Ugh. Yeah, I'd be sad. I'd be sad. Me too. Yeah. Because, like, before I got, like, when I discovered it, I was 14. I'm, t like, 21 now, right? So, and when I originally discovered it, it was because, oh, my mind, like, this is the saddest shit on earth. My mind was, I want to fuck. And that's not, but that's not why I'm here. I'm here because I'm the girlfriend I was with. So I was literally thinking, how can I? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, I never, on. I never, I never succeeded. Oh. <laughs> but um, basically, she, uh, you know, showed me all of this cool stuff. Uh, you ever hear? I think it's like Star Fox. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And um, she basically we played that. I was like, wow, this is really cool. She's like, yeah, there's a fandom around here. She, here's this art I made. She was like a really good artist. And I was just like, wow, this is cool. And then like after we broke up, I was like, fuck it, we're, we're just gonna stay in this shit because it's fun, it's cool. So, and then I stayed in it for a little bit, then I left it for like a year. And then I remember turning on uh, WGN and they were at MFF 2015, 16, 15. So, it was, so it was 15 then. So they were at like MFF 15 and I was running like really late to work. Uh huh. And the news was playing, and I like saw that, and I like sat down. I was like, "Wow, it's been a while since I hung out with those kind of people. They were always so much cooler and fun." Yeah. And I went through work the entire day, and I was like, "Hmm." And I looked at my coworker, Crazy Joe, and that's literally what we called him. Crazy Joe. Crazy Joe. And I was like, "Joe, you ever hear of furries? Like, ha ha, they should all burn in." I was like, "Oh, <laughs> oh no, oh." I'm not saying shit. <laughs> it's oh, like, you're one of those. Nope. So, and then, like, I remember, I was like, wow, I, th I think I'll go to that con next year. Because I knew about a few of the cons, but I was like, I think I'll go next year. Uh -huh. And I went back, and I was like, you know what? Yeah, we're officially back in this shit. Because, like, I'm like, I'm having too much fun. This is, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, because yeah. I would started going to meets before that. I was like, you know what? I'm having too much fun. I like this. This is cool. Yeah. And... That I made a ton of friends. Yeah. It's... So, great community to make friends, straight up. Like, it's a really good community to make friends. So, but that's basically like, you know, how long I've been here, how I got in, how I got back in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I remember too, after I got back in, that's when the Picari video happened. <laughs> it, all, it, all, it all lined up. That's and then, fun. conveniently, very conveniently, Zootopia came out like, <laughs> <laughs> a few months later, and I was just like, huh. And I was like, furries love Zootopia too? I was just like, huh. Because I, I was getting back into it. I was just like, well, sure, okay. I was like, yeah. well, watch this. And I was like, wow, that's a great movie. And I saw it three times in theaters. And that's like, like, because like I said, I was like very quiet about it in high school. Like when I graduated, I was just like, I'm going to do my own thing nowadays. Yeah. And like my mom and sister put two and two together. They're like, <laughs> yeah, you're I'm like, how long? I was like, remember all those Sonic drawings I made when I was a freshman? She's like, <laughs> Did you have like one of those boards where it had like a bunch of red strings connecting all the images? Or, like, <laughs> probably. They're probably like, wait, 
Where did it start? Judy Hopps. What? <laughs> Sci-fi. Like, like go from like Zootopia to the Sonic games to MFF like 15 and just goes back <laughs> like hanging out with all these random people and go into you know what I'm saying? Wait, he was bowling a lot. <laughs> uh, why does he say bo oh bowling all the time instead of bowling? I accidentally, I accidentally too, back when I was in high school, um, said like a furry term on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> and what like. Um, it was like some. I, I think I would just like, uh, cause that was like, I was like the cringy for days. Ah, the good days. And it was like, like you know, like the little asterisks for yeah. like, role play. I basically did like something like that with a furry term in there. And one of my friends DM me, he's like, hey man, I was like, fucking delete, fucking delete, delete, delete. I was like, no, 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 no. It's like oh, I'm not no. Ready, 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 no, no, no. So yeah, that's that's basically like how long I've been here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's like an interesting story beginning to end. And it continues to get better when people find out. <laughs> Future video idea. Right? How my work found out I'm a furry. And my, like, you know, supervisor finds it. I'm like, yo, man, what the fuck? What's <laughs> up with it? So Johnny Blackwell asks, uh, what was the idea behind your suit? And do you act any different out of suit? To answer that, the idea for my character is based off of a Red Bull can. So, the only thing that got me through... So when you go into the military, after you go through basic training, you go through technical training, which is where you learn your actual job. Uh, basic training just kind of teaches you, like, the, you know, how to get your discipline up and to behave in a military environment. However, my technical training was six months, and... <laughs> I had to spend many hours at night studying, and the only thing that kept me going was Red Bull. So, like, <laughs> that's the story. So Red Bull, it. Red Bull tea was like five hour energy. Yes. Yeah. And Red Bull actually isn't my favorite energy drink, which is kind of hard to believe. What's your favorite? My favorite is Monster. Oh, Monster. Really? Yeah, the Diet Where? Monster. The Diet Monster. Yeah. I got, yeah. I'm not I, a big fan of Monster as is. I can only imagine Diet as you know? eh, it tastes alright. It tastes like Fresca. Hmm. Yeah, but I, I chose Red Bull because it's, it's a pretty recognizable color scheme. And I've already seen a lot of monsters on it before, like really? green and black. I've never... Hmm. See, mine's all because of Mountain Dew. I, like, legit sent a photo of a bottle of Mountain Dew to the artist who made, like, the, the version of the story people see now. And I sent a bottle of Mountain Dew to the artist. I said, this is what I want. Oh, my. She's like, okay. I'm a Meishi. I, I, I am gonna disappoint that she never incorporated any of red into it. But I was like, I really want to go heavy on the lime green because you never see that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The bright colors are cool. Maybe I'm the second part of it. I totally forgot. Yeah, I have any different colors. Oh yeah. So for the second part, do I act any different out of suit? And the answer is no. I don't act any different out of suit. Oh my god. Yes, I act different out of suit. Uh, it's weird. It's kind of like. When you put the head on, your whole personality changes, and I am nowhere near as hyperactive as I am in suit. I'm kind of like a flop, really. It takes a lot of work to get me around anywhere. I'm, I'm kind of with that. Like, legit, my roommates this morning to wake me up, I room with the chainmail guy, and he, like, the metal wrist he has, he literally, like, like had to wake up and wake me up by ding, 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 and I woke up, I was like, <laughs> fuck you, I want to <laughs> sleep. Like, I was just like, no. So yeah, I, I relate to the sloth thing, definitely. Yeah. Oh, definitely. But then you see me in the con space, I was like, hey guys! <laughs> like, I'm a completely different person in con space and around people versus, like, just in my room or hanging out with, like, I'm like, if I'm just hanging out, I'm just... <laughs> but when I'm in con space, I'm just like 100%, like, like, I'm extra. <laughs> like the gum. So, good boy Fox asks, where is Colonel Cluckers and why did he take all my money? That is a good question. Colonel Cluckers right now is currently in the con space, clucking at people angrily. A lot of the staff has tried to tell him to calm down, but <laughs> since then he's brought his chicken posse with him and things are just escalated. So we're actually safe right now filming in here. That's why you hear screaming when you're in the elevator. It's, yeah, that's, that's how loud it is in the actual con space. It's terrible. People like freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> the answer why he took your money 
It's because he, he just grew up on in the bad side of the chicken coop. That's just how it goes sometimes. So Circuit De Fox asks, is he truly a good boy? Uh, let's see. Am I truly a good boy? No. No, I'm not. I'm not a good boy. I'm a great boy. So Wolfle Tech asks, what is your favorite way to travel to a can? Oh my God, Phil. <laughs> like you saw that, right? That it kept yeah. popping. I was like, no, stop. Okay, so Wolfle Tech asks, what is your favorite way to travel to a convention? Or if you could choose any fantasy vehicle, which one would you arrive in? That's interesting. Uh, if I could choose a fantasy vehicle to arrive at a convention in, it would probably be a DeLorean. But a DeLorean SUV, so I can fit my fursuit out and everybody else coming with me. Because there's not much room in those. No, no. And if you go 88 miles per hour, you can go to the very first Anthrocon that ever happened. Or you can go start the con over. Yeah, to start the con over. Start never go over. home. That's never go home. Ah! Someone pulled the fire alarm during my interview! Yay! Ah. Alright. Okay, stop going. So, welcome back, everyone. Uh, someone pulled the fire alarm while we were mid-filming. Uh, yes, I kept that entire sequence in from when my cameraman was like, should I, like, like, is this happening? Like, I was like, is this happening? It, it, <laughs> it wouldn't be a fur con if it didn't happen. Yeah, right? Well, the funny thing is, I've been to seven cons, and that's the first time that's happened. What about you? This is probably the third, third time, yeah, third. I'm, like, trying to hold up three fingers. Three. <laughs> third time. Yeah. Yeah, so, no, what's funny is because I was at AC this year, but I wasn't in the con hotel when it happened. Oh. I was at the waterfront doing a photo shoot, and we were on the way back going through Twitter, like, holy shit, someone pulled the fire alarm! Uh, and I was like, man, I've never been to a con where that happened. And we're like filming, we're filming, we're filming, it goes off, and I was like... I, I, first I was like, is this happening? And I was like, yep, this is happening. Look, I was like, come on. And then he's like, we gotta leave the room. I was like, do we really <laughs> have to leave the room? Do we really have to go outside? I mean, come on. So whoever pulled that, man, I don't know. If it, yeah, well, your interviews are off to a good start. Yeah, the interviews are off. Like, this is your my first interview, and this is how it starts. <laughs> like, oh my god. Indie Furcon, it's funny. Like, Indie Furcon, for me, always has had bad shit happen to me yet. But so far, this one's been, like, a fun con, even though, like, a lot of bad shit has yeah. happened. Like, they fucked up my reg, too, when I got here. I'm just like, oh. <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe this is, like, curse con for me. I don't know. <laughs> All right, uh, but yeah, that totally happened. Welcome back, guys. We're going to do the outro here. Uh, so, guys, that's the end of this video. If you stuck around and saw the whole fire alarm dilemma, that, I'm not, I will be honest, it is kind of funny. It, it kind of is. It is I funny. mean, I know con staff and con security and hotel security is probably like, what the fuck? But at the same time, it's... It, you got to admit it is kind of funny. A lot of people are going to look back at it and laugh. But whoever you are, like, come on, man. <laughs> like, come on, man. But, um, guys, thank you for watching this video. If this is the first time you are dropping by this panel... Or, I said panel. Thank you. Uh, if you could please drop a sub, let's hit 10k. Uh, don't forget to like, share this video around, guys. Go sub to the wonderful Caffeine Fox. Yay! Um, really, really cool guy. Makes really good content. Um, and again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you got a good laugh out of that fire alarm thing, share that shit or like it. I, I don't know. I, I kind of think it was funny. Like as. It, like in the moment, I was just like, come on, I really? see your thumbnail. But yeah, right? <laughs> but guys, again, thank you. Um, Caffeine, is there anything else you wanted to say? Uh, no, I just want to say thank you so much for having me on. This has been an awesome experience, fire included. And it's kind of funny. Okay, so I, I'm going to say this. You know what's kind of funny? Every interview I've done, my interview series is cursed. <laughs> Because either I've been drunk, yeah. hung over, we broke a table one time, I was late, <laughs> I, it's all, they're always cursed, and here we are, my first interview ever! Everything is going right. Maybe it's the camera then. I don't know, man. Like, everything was going right. <laughs> and then fire war. And then <laughs> fire nation attack. Oh, uh, my, it's like, it's almost like my interviews are forever going to be cursed. <laughs>
<laughs> but guys, that doesn't ever mean they're gonna stop. Thank you for watching, guys. Go sub to Caffeine. Go check out his channel. Check out his Twitter. Check out his Instagram. All of that will be linked below along with all of my stuff. Guys, go check that out as well. Go follow me on Instagram. See some cool photos. And maybe follow me on Twitter and see some quality shit posts. Um... Thank you again. I'm Ascari Husky. And I'm Kathy Oh, wait, Cox. I fucked up. Oh, you're right. I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked up. I fucked up. So, guys, thank you again for watching. Go sub to Caffeine up here. Check out mine up here. Go binge watch every first suit interview I have ever filmed. Or watch the last one here and slowly go back. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Ascari Husky. And I'm Caffeine Fox. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye. I hope the flare alarm doesn't go off. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, Lord. That that stays in the video. That that's God. staying in, like, I did, you know who Timus the Fox is? During, okay, so during his interview, one of his roommates was in the bathroom, and when he walked out, he said, ooh, woo, it's a poo. Uh, and at the yeah. end, I snuck it in at the end of the video, and like, everyone who's noticed it was like, oh my god. <laughs> because we were just going through the questions, like, talking at the time, and then he cut, he, he literally sticks his head out and goes, ooh, woo, it's a poo, and then walks into the, like, I was just like, oh my god. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Oh, shit, let's be sure we actually got awesome. that. Awesome. Okay, we got that.